Welcome to Channel Japan. I'm Maki Arai. And I'm Maki Kotsuda. Every week, we bring you the freshest information out of Japan right here from a studio here in Tokyo. From the economy to culture and even foods, if you want to find out what's happening in Japan right now, this is where you'll find it. Today, we have a report from TV Tokyo World Business Satellite. But uh, first, though, I have a graph that shows the number of uh, industrial robots in operation around the world.、Mm -hmm. So it's clear from that that Japan has the highest number of industrial robots. It is, isn't it? And、uh, Japan is known as a world leader in this field, and Japanese companies have a combined share market share that surpasses other countries. That much. So, how much is exported? Well,、uh, annual shipments in Japan are about 100,000 units, of which 72% are bound for markets outside the country. And in monetary terms, Annual shipments are worth、uh, approximately $3 billion.、Mm. So, when you say industrial robots,、uh, what kind of robots does the term refer to? Well, the most prominent are those used in manufacturing,、uh, but robots are also used in the agriculture, fisheries, and construction industries. And in the past several years, robots are being used more widely in offices and、uh, social environments and also public facilities such as、uh, power plants. Okay, so there are so many different types of robots. So, what kind of robots are they? Take a look. Rows of greenhouses. They're all seedlings. We grow seedlings for farmers. This is Hardeen, an agricultural corporation. Seedlings for over 100 types of vegetables and flowers are grown here. This year, just prior to the peak shipment period in March, they took delivery of a farming robot. This is a process called grafting, by which we connect strong roots to seedlings that produce tasty fruits and vegetables. This robot carries out the grafting process. By simply putting the seedlings in place, the stems are evenly trimmed, covered, and connected. In the case of vegetable seedlings, they combine a tasty variety with one that has strong roots. By hand, about 100 seedlings can be grafted in an hour, but this robot works 10 times faster, finishing 1,000 in the same time. This robot is indispensable. Because productivity in this industry has traditionally been low. The robot which they began using full time from this year was developed by ISO, a company based in the Netherlands. The development of easy to use robots in Japan has started generating strong interest among schools nurturing the next generation of engineers. At a recently held competition, The theme was practical robots. A personal guardian system that's convenient to use might be interesting. This student is proposing a robot that monitors a person's movements and health condition, which can be relayed to others in a different location. We visited his laboratory. Using Kinect. This robot detects people, and the computer sends a signal for it to move closer. The idea behind this system is for a robot to check the health condition of people in its field and transmit that data to people far away. You use this button to express how you're feeling that day. A somewhat familiar shape. He's actually using a development kit provided by iRobot, the maker of the vacuum cleaning robot Roomba. iRobot sells these development tools, so they're not that expensive to buy. iRobot began selling a development use Roomba in Japan four years ago. The kit includes plugs to change the signals and costs almost the same as a regular Roomba. What's more, 
You can get the specs from the internet, although I have trouble reading English. Details on how to use the circuits and sensors of the Roomba can be easily found on the internet. It's fun to learn how it actually works. So why has iRobot been so open about its technology? CEO Colin Engel explained the reason at a product launch event held in February. But well, we believe that the robot industry does not exist to make great demonstrations. It exists to solve real problems. We exist to help people. He says the purpose is to develop more user-friendly robots like the Roomba by opening up information and encouraging research while expanding the scope of the robotics industry at the same time.